Good day. We have definitive confirmation that a new radar system has been installed on the latest batch of the Type 052 DL destroyers, the batch that is under construction as we speak by the Jenan shipyard and the Dalian shipyard. The new upgrade appears to be a response to one of the major threats to surface warships in the current paradigm of naval warfare. This particular threat is sea-skimming anti-ship missiles, those that travel very close to the surface of the sea, which, due to the curvature of the Earth, makes them difficult to detect until they are very close. The PLAN has always been wary of the danger posed by sea-skimming anti-ship missiles. In addition to the primary air search radar, the PLAN has added a secondary search radar, the Type 364 Surface Search Radar, to help survey and track low-altitude targets, namely the sea-skimming missiles. It was developed by the number 723 Research Institutes of the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. It has been fitted on top of the main mast of the PLAN's most important surface warships, including the Type 052D, the 052C, the 051C, and the 052B destroyers, the 054 and 054A frigates, and even the Liaoning and the Shandong aircraft carriers. However, the Type 055 large destroyer is a notable exception and does not have it. The Type 364 is typically enclosed inside a dome. The Type 364 radar specializes in close range surveillance and targets illumination and provides data for targeting the threat to the anti-missile defenses on the warship, including the HQ-10 and the Type 1130 Seawiz, which will then have a much easier time dealing with the threat. The latest photographs of the new Type 052 DL destroyers show that the Type 364 radar has been replaced with something better although still essentially serving the same function. This is the main visual difference between the current batch and the previous ones. There may also be upgrades to the interior, and those would not be observable externally. In this photo of a new destroyer conducting sea trials, which was recently launched by the Dalian shipyard, you can clearly see a rotating radar on top of the main mast. This is the new replacement for the Type 364. It is a two-sided rotating radar array, widely believed among PLA watchers to be an active, electronically phased array, or ASAR radar. Its name is not known at this stage, although some of the credible commentators have assigned the designation the Type 368 radar. Whatever the name is, the new surface search radar is a 3D phased array, which means it is electronically scanned in the direction the array is facing, allowing for near instantaneous changes in altitude and azimuth. This is an enormous jump in capability from the previous Type 364, which is a 2D radar using a mechanical antenna. Of course, the Type 368 or whatever its real name is, does not offer truly instantaneous 360 degree coverage, because it only has two faces, which have to be mechanically rotated. In contrast to the four-sided Type 346 radar embedded lower inside the superstructure of the destroyer. The Type 368 radar could be the same one as a new rotary radar on the Type 075 landing helicopter dock, or at least similar to it. The Type 075 has a two-sided rotating ASAR array on top of the aft mast, which is a dual airspanned and expand system. The Type 368 may or may not be the same one, but there's plenty of speculation that the new destroyer radar is closely related, 
given that they basically have the same structural design. The new Type 054B frigate also has a two-sided ASAR radar. We see a growing trend not just in the PLAN, but in the world's major navies more generally, to increasingly favor the rotating radar design, either one-sided or two-sided. The Europeans, including the French, the British, and the Italians, absolutely love it. A rotating ASAR radar strikes a balance between affordability and capability. It's cost much less than a four-sided array covering 360 degrees, and requires less displacement, not to mention the fact it can see further, due to being mounted higher up the mast. Much like their predecessors, the Type 368's radar is designed for detecting and targeting anti-ship missiles flying at a low altitude in a sea-skimming fashion, and to pass on targeting information to the ship's weapons to destroy the incoming threat. It simply does a better job than its predecessor in the same role. It is unlikely, in my opinion, that the new radar will be retrofitted onto the older Type 052D destroyers already commissioned, nor any of the other classes that also use the old Type 364 radar. Chances are that these older ships will have to continue using the previous generation Type 364. Retrofitting the older ships is unlikely because they are probably not designed to meet the power requirements, the weight, the cooling system of the new and more powerful system, which is almost certainly larger than their predecessor. The older ships have been built to accommodate the previous system, while the new destroyers have been built from the ground up to use the new Type 368. We also know that the Type 052D design has already been stretched to more or less its maximum potential. They're simply unlikely to be the power supply and the displacement to fit a new radar system. That being said, not having a new radar should not seriously compromise the air defense capability of the elder destroyers. The old Type 364 radar has undergone continued improvements and updates over the years. The old ships will continue to use the same volume search radar, the Type 346A, as the new batch, so most of their sensory capabilities will not be compromised. Not to mention the weapons carried are the same. And also, I guess we just don't know. Retrofitting the older ships is possible, even if unlikely, and we will probably not know the answer anytime soon. China's production lines will be busy building the new radar for the new warships under construction. Even if the intent is to retrofit the older ships, the timing will be constrained by actual production, which will need to go to the new warships first for obvious reasons. Anyway, that will be all. See you next time.